Lee Salvatore, he is running for the county legislature in District 12 here in Jefferson County. And if you have a question for him, by all means, feel free to call 755-1240. That's the number here for the hotline, 755-1240. Now, you're currently uh, running, or you're running for the seat currently held by Carolyn Fitzpatrick. And now, are, are you getting into this race because you feel as if Ms. Fitzpatrick has not done a good enough job, or it's just because you think that the legislature overall would be better served by you being there and and, and no reflection on her uh, I think more the latter than, than the former here uh, there's uh, for one thing you look at the county legislature and uh, I don't see too many veterans I have experience as uh, as an attorney I was a uh, uh, employment attorney at Fort Drum uh, army officer a leader employee of the federal government uh, as well as an uh, employee of Fort Drum. And you take a look at the legislature here, and you don't have those aspects of that. And so I hesitate to use the word diversity, but we uh, I look at there, and, and there's not a diversity of experience. Uh, there may be others uh, in the county with the same type of experience, and if, in fact, they were running, I probably would not be running. But I don't see that out there. Uh, so I think that the, the legislature needs, uh, uh, needs that viewpoint. Uh, we've, we've got a call right here, and Len, let's see. And, and once again, we're going to keep it on topic today. Uh, if the caller wants to talk about, you know, beautiful weather or something, uh, sorry, we're not taking your call. But if you have a question for Mr. D. Salvatore, we're glad to have you here on the hotline. Hi there, you're on the air. Good afternoon. Oh, hi. I had a question for him. Uh, if he's going to, uh, if he's elected to the county legislator, I want to know what he's going to do about the crime in Watertown. Uh, drugs and prostitution are getting embedded in Watertown. The chief of police, uh, Chief Goss, refuses to talk to citizens. Uh, I, myself, and a few others have tried to contact him to talk to him about evidence we have of illegal activity in the city, and he refuses to talk to us. Uh, the drug task force, Jefferson County Drug Task Force, uh, you can never get a hold of them. You try calling them. Uh, you have to leave a message. They don't call you back. What will he do to try to control these uh, law enforcement agencies that refuse to acknowledge there's illegal activity becoming embedded in Watertown, New York. All right, and would you like to take your answer on the air there, please? And we can go ahead and clear this phone line in case there's other callers coming through. How's that? Certainly well. Okay. So, now, the question is, you know, what, if if anything, the county legislature can do about crime within the city of Watertown? Well, the one thing, one of my sayings is, uh, can you handle the truth? Uh, the one thing that's certain is uh, we need more jail space and we need more police officers because the population in this county is has grown uh, and is growing, especially in the in the age group that demographically here may commit more crimes. So I uh, I'm I'm in favor of more more police officers now. Now Chief Goss is not within the jurisdiction of the county, uh, but I I feel myself as a as a problem solver here. You, 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 if they're not happy getting uh, with the response you get, you can call me and. Uh, uh, I can pass it on to the Joint Task Force. I, I can't pass too much on to, to uh, uh, Chief Goss here. You can give Mary Corvo a call at, at City Hall and and let her know, or, or, or Mayor Graham. Yeah, there are uh, jurisdictional questions here, and, and you know the city of Watertown yeah. is the city they but, have. But that gets it gets gets us into the to the jail and the additional police officers here. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to my website, I have a, have a link to a, a study done by the Center for Public uh, Research. Uh, for Chemung County, and what they did down there when they had a jail overcrowding is uh, go through and go uh, day by day for prisoners that enter the the uh, prison system uh, or from the arrest to the time they're actually released from sentencing and see where the where the delays are. Uh, you do that to try to, of course, improve your your bed rate. Uh, I don't. We should not only do that, but we should uh, take a look at the uh, another root cause of uh, increased costs and, and more jet beds, uh, use of, usage of bed stays, and that's the, uh, uh, the justice and village uh, uh, court system that we have. I believe if we take a look at the studies and see where the delays are and see where we can get efficiencies, uh, we would go to a district court system where the district court judges, uh, full-time judges, uh, they are attorneys, uh, they have a uh, jurisdiction across the district uh, and can uh, more uh, efficiently uh, process people that are uh, within the system, setting bail or letting them out, sentencing uh, without having large delays in jail. Uh, 
Now, uh, is that something that could be done by the county legislature, or would that have to go through the state legislature when you're talking about changing the judicial system? Uh, it's a local home rule. Down on Long Island, they have the district court system, and that is, uh, and this is one of the things that's been studied over the years, and there is a, a lot of resistance at the local level to, to doing this. Uh, however, uh, and there is little incentive for people to, to advocate. Um, in my campaign, uh, uh, I'm not taking campaign contributions from anybody. I may be a lawyer, but I'm not a member of the Trial Lawyers Association. Uh, I'm getting some support from the local Jefferson County Democratic Party because I am running as a, as a Democrat, uh, but I'm not beholden to anybody. Uh, I look to uh, to see where the efficiencies uh, will be, and if you a study like this, and again, I'm not big into, into studies, but if a study like this will show uh, you get somebody out from the outside uh, uh, looking at those and, and looking at it quantitatively, uh, we can t uh, everybody can objectively take a look and what is best for the for the people of Jefferson County and, and the people of, of the state. Uh, Our guest today is Mr. Carl D. Salvatore. He is running for the Jefferson County Legislature in District 12. Again, your phone calls and questions are welcome here on the hotline at 782. Or rather, 755-1240. I'm bouncing around to different phones here. 755-1240. We'll be back with more of the hotline right after these messages. Please stay tuned. He's known for his knowledge of...